Welcome back fellow detectives to another exciting episode of Data Detectives. Today we have an exciting case to solve using our trusty tool Python. We will be diving deep into the Stack Overflow Annual Developer Survey for 2022, unleashing the power of exploratory data analysis to uncover fascinating insights. The Stack Overflow Annual Developer Survey provides a wealth of data about the global developer community. With over 70,000 respondents, it's a treasure trove of information waiting to be explored. Our mission is to analyze this data and extract valuable knowledge from it. To accomplish this, we will be using the versatile Python programming language along with popular libraries such as Pandas, Matplotlib and Seaborn. These tools will help us organize, manipulate, visualize and draw meaningful conclusions from the survey data. Our first step is to load the survey data set into our Jupyter Notebook. We will demonstrate how to handle missing values, clean the data and perform data type conversions. This ensures that our analysis is based on the reliable and accurate information. With the data prepared, we will be moving on to visualizing the survey results. We will create bar charts, pie charts, scatter plots to showcase interesting trends and patterns. By leveraging Python's powerful visualization libraries, we can present the information in a clear and engaging manner. But here's where the real detective work begins. We will pose questions and extract deep insights from the data. Which programming languages are most popular? What are the top job satisfaction factors? How does experience relate to compensation? These are just a few of the exciting questions we will explore. So now let's move on the Jupyter Notebook and start with our analysis. First of all, we are going to write the heading and it will be exploratory data analysis using python on stack overflow data set okay so to start our analysis first of all we are going to import all our libraries like import pandas and as pd imports numpy as np import import seaborn as sns and import matplotlib dot pyplot as pld now we are going to import our csv files all the files used in this analysis have are attached in the description down below. So first of all, let's create a survey draw df. Okay, and let's import it as read.csv and the survey is survey results public dot csv. Okay. Now, if we want to see the survey raw df file, we can see this is our survey raw df file. Here we can see that we have the response ID, we have the main branch, then we have the employment, remote work, coding activities, ad level, and so on. And we can see that there are more than 70,000 rows and approximately 79 columns. Okay. Also from our data set, we can see that the first row is a null value row. So we can remove it. Okay. Let's see our first row. So we will use the I lock and we will see at index one. Here we can see that all the values are NAN. Okay. So we are going to drop it. Let's drop it. Survey raw df dot draw and we will give the index 
which is 0 and we will use in place equals to true so the same will be reflected on the main data set now if we want to see the survey df here we can see that this is our survey df okay we have response id main branch employment reward work and we have the rows so from this we can see that we can write one conclusion the data set contains over 73,000 rows and 79 columns okay now let's see the columns available in our data set so we will use survey raw df and we will give columns and these are the 79 columns that are available with us okay if we want to see the data type we can see from survey raw df dot info so here we can see that most of the uh, columns have the object data type some few have integer only uh, some few has integer and float data type values okay so now let's import the schema rows which will give us the description of all the columns that are available in the survey data set okay so let's import the schema raw file so this will be pd dot read csv and the file name is survey result schema dot csv and what we are going to do is we will change the index column to q name okay and we will only see the question column okay so if we see the schema raw function here we can see that these are the question names that is matching with these columns and this is the description of each question so you can read the descriptions in the excel file or the csv file that we have linked in the description and understand the questions okay so from this we can use uh, to extract or to retrieve the full question text for any column in the survey raw df so if we want to see the full question of employment so we can write schema raw and we will give employment name we can see the question is which of the following best describes your current employment status okay so the employment column will be as the employment column will be having the results for this question okay so this was the loading of data uh, okay in the next video we are going to perform the data preparation and data cleaning okay so thank you